Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in my hands here I have the Maxpedition Roly Poly. Now I can't help but get just a little nostalgic when I see this little Roly Poly because well for me this product here goes back to the original Maxpedition Legacy series of gear that really was what turned me on to good quality EDC tactical ballistic nylon gear. The original Legacy series for Maxpedition was absolutely for me early on, well before my channel, and definitely set the stage for a lot of the products I've come to greatly enjoy today. But again, this original Roly Poly being part of the Legacy series, Today, we're not really here to talk about the Legacy series, but rather some new products from the Prepared Citizen lineup, and also a product from the Prepared Citizen lineup that we've taken a look at in the past. Now, what do these Prepared Citizen models have to do with the original Legacy series? Well, all of these are roly-poly iterations of different types. So at this point, whether it does come from the Legacy series of gear and all the way through their lineup to the newest lineup being the Prepared Citizen gear, well, these roly-polies definitely have their place and I have a bunch of thoughts to share with you. But with that said, I do have a whole bunch to talk about and a whole bunch to show you. But if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to talk about, do me a favor, Stay tuned. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Maxpedition who did provide these products for review. Now again, as I mentioned, the Roly Poly, the original, this dump pouch, absolutely wonderful. Made from high quality ballistic nylon, excellent hardware choice, flexibility, versatility. This has been a product that for me, I have come to greatly enjoy. Now, whether Maxpedition products or other companies, a good dump pouch is definitely the way to go for the flexibility and versatility that you get. And for me, while I'm out on the trails or in the woods, but why? Well, first off, a nice easy place where you can stash some gear. You know, the thing for me is, I like the fact that with the roly polies, well, quite frankly, they just literally roll right up and out of the way into a nice compact little form factor. But then when you need it, just say, for example, this is clipped to your belt. Well, if I need to gather some tinder or a quick place to stash my water bottle, or even maybe I take off my gloves and I don't want to just huck them on the ground. Well, quite simply, just undo this, open it up, and I have a very quick and easy place to stash my gear. But what about these other items? Well, when you're talking about the prepared citizen lineup, it's less about the wilderness and it's more about being ready in the urban environment. And that's exactly what these are here today. Now in a prior video, we did take a look at this roly poly folding tote. And I have had this for quite a while now. This was debuted at SHOT Show in 2020 and since came out and has become a part of their prepared citizen lineup. Now for me, what does this mean? Well, I don't get very political and I also don't get very religious on my channel, and I'm not going down either one of those roads, but what I do wanna say is, if this hasn't already come to a community near you, this is a concept that's going to be very real for every single one of us. And that is the, I would say, catchphrase of sustainability. And when you hear that, pretty much what that means is many communities are going to start to cut down on waste. They're going to cut down on redundancy. They're going to make smart material choices. And they're trying to cut down on the overall impact on the environment. So with that said, imagine going to the grocery store and well, now you can't get your plastic bags. Maybe you don't want to carry paper bags. Maybe they're not durable enough. Maybe you think they're going to rip. Bottom line is you're going to start to have to have a means to, as easy as it is, getting your groceries home from the grocery store. That's just bottom line. So if it hasn't hit you yet, I'm telling you now it is going to. So my feelings and philosophy is companies like Maxpedition 
Even though these roly polies aren't the most exciting products they've ever come out with, I can tell you they are going to become very, very relevant very soon if they haven't already for you. And so what I'm saying about that is, well, what do I do with this tote? And at this point, I'm not saying that I'm bringing this to the grocery store just yet. However, I do expect it's going to start making some trips. But in the meantime, I have used this extensively and pretty much to get myself ready for my hiking trips. When I go on long trips and overnights, I always have stuff I need to bring in the car with me. And this works out very well. I just take all of my sort of you know needs for the car and I put them in here and I carry this into the car it's got my change of shoes a change of a jacket some water and snacks for the ride home some of the basic essentials and I can stash some things in here while I'm out on the trails and leave it behind in the car but also this has come in very handy for me when I go to the post office I spend a lot of time shipping things it's kind of part of what I do these days and when I have a handful of packages well you know what it's like fumbling through the door and especially these days there's a lot of considerations when you're going into a public place and you have a lot of things in your hands so for me this has worked out extremely well where almost no matter what size package I'm actually trying to ship I can easily slide them in here bring them through the door and as I'm kind of checking out and you know the post office is doing what they need to do to process my packages well I just simply zip this up no problem roll it up and I can at that point stash this away with ease and so literally while I'm standing there I just roll this up it's a nice tight package I always wear cargo pants I just slide this into one of my cargo pockets and now I'm hands-free and everybody moves on so this roly-poly tote has been absolutely sweet. And I can say I've come to greatly enjoy it. And so that leads me to some brand new products from the Roly Poly lineup. So again, the Prepared Citizen lineup. These are new for 2021. I have not even opened these up. So this one here in the color black, this is the Roly Poly Folding Satchel. And so as we get this out of the package here, just removing it real quick. Again, you'll see that very similar form factor. So when you look at any one of the roly polies, depending on you know which one it is, they're all pretty much the same in essence. Some very similar concepts where it does leverage the nylon material. You end up rolling it up and you end up basically Velcroing over the top to keep it really stashed away and nice and concealed and confined. And that's exactly what we see here with the satchel. So first things first, we'll undo this here and opening this up, well, the same thing where that just unrolls and here you have the satchel. A grab handle on the top and on the back, pretty much like a nice shoulder sling. So the ability to throw this over your shoulder, that's gonna work out mighty nice. Now. In general, this is a little bit smaller than the tote, so not quite as wide, not quite as deep, but at the same time, definitely capable of holding some pretty good items. In fact, I'd go as far as to say this could certainly hold a gallon of milk and some other, you know, little odds and ends. I bet you I could come pretty close to holding a 12 pack of beer in here without too much difficulty. But opening this up again, you have that grab handle on the top. And Maxpedition always doing a nice job with their hardware, their construction, and the overall quality. So the zipper's running mighty nice. Now inside, this is fairly straightforward. As you look here, it is pretty much just a nice open dump, but there are a couple of pockets. And so here, as you can see, just an open pocket on the top and on this side as well. So two little open pockets, not too much to it, very simple. On the front, you have that Velcro field and also in the back. Now that's gonna provide you with a couple of different opportunities. One, you could certainly put a morale patch if you so choose. You could actually add some Velcro pouches to this, which is cool. If you want a little more organization, you could certainly do that. Now with the caveat being, you do need to remember if you're gonna roll this up, that could impact your ability to do so in a tidy fashion. But the other thing the Velcro does is obviously as you roll this up, it gives you the means to hold it shut. Now, just like the tote here with the satchel, one thing you will notice is the top of these pockets have no sort of an enclosure. Um, for me personally, 
I would probably like to see a little zipper on there. I think it would work out a little better or if you're worried about the flexibility to really close this, which you shouldn't because the zipper on the top flexes and folds up just fine. Um, if you don't want a zipper, maybe a little bit of Velcro just to hold that shut. Now remember, my mentality is I may use this to hold a bunch of stuff. It's very likely I could slip my keys in here, I could slip my wallet, maybe I have a little bit of money. So I think personally, if you're gonna use this as a practical standpoint, it would really be very beneficial just to have the option to close this up if you so choose. So even as simple as a piece of Velcro right there is all it would need. So if I could make some suggestions, that's one place I'd put a little bit of an enhancement. But other than that, very straightforward, just a nice open satchel. And you will see that on the back, these straps can be removed. So adjustable straps. And if you don't want them because they're gonna get in the way, they can be removed. And just real quick for the demonstration, here I have a quilted poncho. So this is seven and a half inches in diameter. This is a little over 13 inches in length. And taking this here and slipping it inside the satchel, well, that fits pretty much the volume that you can fit inside here. You can see this is sticking out just a touch over the top, but that pretty much fits in there. And there is still a little bit of room in the side for some additional items, but that gives you an overall sort of indication of the volume. Now, again, with the strap, the ability to adjust this to length and get it to how it fits best for your body size. And for me, I would probably just take this and sling it over a shoulder. So here you can see, very easy, sliding it over. And there's plenty of adjustability. So if I want this even lower, I can certainly do so, no problem at all. And it fits nicely, kind of swings around onto my back. And this is very comfortable and very simple. The webbing here is almost like a seatbelt webbing as you look. So it's very pliable and flexible. It's not too rigid. It's a little bit soft to the touch and it works out very well. And so as you can see, the roly-poly satchel being a nice addition to this lineup. Which now leads us to the next product here in Wolf Gray. You will see this is the roly-poly folding tote bag. And so as we take a look at this here, again, getting a look at it for the first time. Again, very similar. Just the same concept, the roly-poly having that Velcro enclosure unfolding this and you'll notice this one is larger than the small satchel so the tote pack being right between the satchel and the tote bag only you'll notice this having a two strap carry now that could be critical not only is this a little bit larger but having the two straps now imagine you're somebody and thinking through the sustainability thing a little bit well long term i can tell you already there is gonna be a heavy encouragement of bike riding and walking to get to your destination versus taking a vehicle. That is a big part of the long-term sustainability plans that are coming to a community near you. So having those opportunities, well, again, imagine doing your shopping and needing a place to put your, you know, your belongings. Well, this could do it exactly for you. So here, taking a look at the tote pack, again, on the back, a couple of nice straps, unfolding this. And well, I think, as you can imagine, Getting to the inside here, we're gonna find very similar construction to the rest of the lineup. And so inside here, very straightforward, a nice large dump. And on the top here, a single pocket. Again, with no Velcro or zippered enclosure. Just going back to one of my statements, I do think that would be a nice enhancement, just having the ability to keep this shut. So maybe in a future iteration or you know version 2.0, just having a little bit of an enclosure there, I think would definitely aid in the overall safety of some of your belongings. But now just for size reference, here you have a mid-size sleeping bag in a stuff sack. Now this is nine inches in diameter by about 19 inches in length. And slipping it inside the tote pack, here you will see it fits in here almost entirely. Again, just showing out the top just a little bit, but you'll notice this fills it out pretty well. There is some additional space down the sides if you had some additional items, but that just gives you an overall understanding of the volume. 
And so at this point, as we take a look at the straps, you will notice that this does have a little bit of adjustability depending on your body height. For me personally, I have about 21 inches from the top of my shoulders down to the small of my back, which is typically a size large. So I will leave this at the longest setting, but as you can see here, just quite easily slipping this onto my back. It is again, sort of that seat belt webbing, but here, no problem fitting on my back wonderfully. Now you do have plenty of adjustability as you look at these straps here, pretty similar to most backpacks, just your little strap and the ability to adjust that and tighten it down, loosen it up a bit. And you'll see here as that got a little bit snagged, this does have some Velcro. So nice that you have the ability to keep all the extra webbing nice and contained doesn't flap around, doesn't get caught, and gives you plenty of adjustability. Now, no such thing as like a chest strap or anything like that, not a big deal. You don't necessarily need it. You're not gonna have a ton of weight in here. Now, I will sort of throw the caveat out there that, you know, if you are gonna load this up with groceries or liquid, it will get maybe just a little bit heavy, but at the same time, I feel like this is perfect for typical sort of odds and ends and things that you may need to pick up in a pinch. And so again, I would like to say thank you very much to the people at Maxpedition who did provide these products for review. And for all of you, I can say that, well, there is a roly poly product for you. And you might not know it just yet, and you maybe aren't quite ready, but, Bottom line is there is going to be a need for these products either for the woods or the urban environment. And maybe you need just a little more space and the roly poly tote is calling your name. You need a little less and the roly poly satchel is gonna do. You're looking for that sweet spot in the middle and the roly poly tote bag's gonna get you what you need. All in all, Maxpedition is a brand whose products I have come to greatly enjoy and appreciate everything from the original Legacy Series roly-poly tote bags that caught my attention early on and definitely inspired me to thinking about what this might mean for the future. And it's crazy to think these days and age and where we are and the times and all the things that we're all going through Bottom line is I can tell you that definitively these roly-poly products are going to come into play. And so one of the key things is designing and developing products that are durable, that won't break down, and that will last overall reducing waste in the long term, reducing waste in the waste stream and cutting down on the things that make it into landfills. So having good quality construction and good quality materials that are gonna last, that's gonna be key. That's my take on it, not trying to be political, but I can tell you that is definitely some considerations to think about. So all in all, great products. I am looking forward to getting these into some good use out in the field. I know that each one of them, I will find a little niche in a place to use them. They have already been good quality products. The tote for me has definitely come into play and I do use it regularly. So that will absolutely be the case for the tote bag and the satchel. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.